everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to crochet the Simply Christmas Stocking, which is a beautiful uh, bulky weight stocking and unfortunately I'm not going to be able to show you uh, my entire sample here because this is a large stocking and it features this very plush loopy cuff and then works down to the toe down here. Now this, uh, despite its size and these beautiful plush crochet stitches, this is an easy pattern to work and you're absolutely going to love it. I'm just going to move it out of the way here. Uh, the finished size of this Christmas stocking is 24 by 8 inches and that's when it's laid flat. So it's 24 inches long from cuff to toe and then about 8 inches wide. You're going to be using a super bulky weight yarn, so this stocking will work up fairly quickly despite its size. I'm using this Woolies Thick and Quick by Lion Brand Yarn. You're also going to need a 10 millimeter crochet hook, and then of course a pair of scissors and yarn needle for weaving in your ends. So thank you so much for joining me. Oh, as far as um, the uh, quantities, you're going to need two different colors. I'm using this Fisherman's uh, color as well as this cranberry color here. The Fisherman is my color A, cranberry for my color B. And you're going to need two balls of the cranberry color as well as two balls of your other color, a Fisherman color. Each of these balls of yarn has about um, 100 yards in each one. So you're going to need about 400 yards in total for the Christmas stocking. So uh, the free written pattern is on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com. It's directly linked there in the description of this video as well as links to uh, some of the materials that you'll also need. So thank you so much for joining me. Once again, I invite you to subscribe. Take a look around. This channel is updated weekly uh, with free crochet patterns and stitch tutorials. You'll find some other crochet stockings here as well. Now our pattern today for the most part is worked in rounds. We're going to start at the toe of our sock and work our way up. So the first thing you're going to do is using your color A, make a slip knot and chain two. Into the second chain from your hook, work five single crochet stitches and join with a slip stitch into that first stitch. That's your first round. For round two, chain one, work two single crochets into that first stitch and then into each stitch all the way around. At the end of this round, you're going to have 10 stitches. Once you have your 10 stitches, join with a slip stitch into the top of that first stitch. Chain one for round three. You're going to single crochet into that first stitch and then work two single crochets into the next. Repeat that all the way around. One single crochet into the next stitch and two single crochets into the next one into the next stitch and two into the next. Repeat it all the way around and at the end of this round you'll have a total of 15 stitches. When you come to your first stitch, join with a slip stitch into that first stitch. For round four, chain one, 
single crochet into that first stitch and into the next stitch then work two single crochet stitches into the next work one single crochet into each of the next two stitches and two single crochet stitches into the next repeat this all the way around join with a slip stitch into your first stitch and at the end of this round uh, you will have a total of 20 stitches for round five chain one single crochet into each of the first three stitches and then work two single crochet stitches into the next stitch repeat one single crochet into each of the next three stitches and then work two single crochets into the next stitch repeat that all the way around join with a slip stitch into your first stitch and at the end of this round you'll have a total of 25 stitches For round six, single crochet into each of the first four stitches. And work two single crochet stitches into the next stitch. Repeat that one single crochet into each of the next four stitches. And two single crochets into the next stitch. Repeat that all the way around, join with a slip stitch into your first stitch, and at the end of this round you will have a total of 30 stitches. At the end of round 6, chain 1. Now for round 7 and 8, for two more rounds, you're going to single crochet into that first stitch and then into each stitch all the way around. So you're going to do this for a total of two more rounds. This is round seven and eight. At the end of each round, join with a slip stitch in that first stitch and chain one. At the end of your round eight, you will change to color B in that final stitch. And I will show you exactly how I like to do that once I come around to the end of my round eight. So go ahead, work two more rounds of single crochet in each stitch all the way around. Okay, so in, I've now worked round seven and eight. I've single crocheted uh, in each stitch all the way around for two rounds. This is what the toe of my sock looks like. Now what I'm going to do is I've come to my final stitch there in round eight. And in this final stitch, I want to switch to my color B. So to switch to color B, using your color A, which is still attached here, insert your hook into that final stitch, yarn over and draw up a loop. Drop your color A, pick up your color B, place it on your hook, and pull through. You're now ready to continue on working in your new color. So join with a slip stitch and I'm going to work over top of my two ends just for a little bit to weave them in. So join with a slip stitch into that first stitch and you're ready to go with your color B. For, we're now going to work the foot portion of our stocking to work the foot for round one, chain one in your color B, and now work one half double crochet into that first stitch and into each stitch all the way around. When you come back to your first stitch, join with a slip stitch into the top of that half double crochet. Once I've worked a few stitches here, over top of my tails, you can go ahead and fasten off your color A. We will be using it again later, but for now, 
we don't need it. So just keep working half double crochet stitches all the way around, join with a slip stitch in the top of your first stitch. At the end of round one of my stocking foot, join with a slip stitch into that first stitch and chain one. Do not turn your work. Now for the next nine rounds, so this is rounds two through to ten, you're simply going to repeat that round one. So half double crochet into that first stitch and then half double crochet to each stitch all the way around, join with a slip stitch in that first stitch and chain one. You're going to work that for 10 more rounds until you have a considerable portion for your foot and uh, at the end of your round 10 of half double crochet stitches you'll switch back to your color A. So I'm going to go ahead work nine more rounds half double crochet in each stitch and then uh, meet you back here and we will start to work the stocking heel. At the end of round 10 this is what your work will look like. Your toe and then 10 rounds of half double crochet stitches. In your final stitch of 10 round 10 you'll want to switch back to your color A so yarn over insert your hook into that next stitch yarn over and draw up a loop place color A on to your hook and pull through. You're now all set to go with color A. You can join with a slip stitch into that first stitch and I'm going to just work over top of my two little tails for a little bit to help secure them. Now we're all set to work our heel of our foot. The heel of uh, the stocking is worked in rows. So you can start by chaining one. For row one, you're going to single crochet into each of the first two single crochet stitches. So there's one and two. Slip stitch into the next stitch. And then turn your work, leaving the remaining stitches unworked. There's no chain one, you've just slip stitched into that stitch, that next, next stitch, uh, and turned your work. Next, you're going to, for row two, skip the first slip stitch and slip stitch into the next single crochet stitch. Single crochet into the next stitch. and into the next stitch which is actually the stitch that you joined in down below okay so single crochet into the same stitch that you joined in down below slip stitch into your next stitch that brings you to the end of row two Turn your work, leaving the remaining stitches unworked. For row three, skip the first slip stitch, slip stitch into your next stitch, and single crochet into each of the next two stitches, which includes that slip stitch. And then single crochet into the next stitch, which is the stitch down below that you've joined your heel in. Okay, so it's the next stitch in uh, the round of your foot. So single crochet into that stitch and then slip stitch into the next stitch. Turn your work, leaving the rest of the row unworked. For row four, skip the first slip stitch, slip stitch into the next single crochet, 
single crochet into each of the next three stitches. So the first two single crochet stitches and then there was a slip stitch, single crochet into it. Single crochet into the next stitch down on your foot, so that's the same stitches joining, single crochet into that stitch and slip stitch into the next stitch. That brings you to the end of row four. At the end of row four, turn your work, leaving the remaining stitches unworked. For row five, skip the first slip stitch, slip stitch into your next stitch, single crochet into each of the next four stitches, and then single crochet into the next stitch, which is down on your foot, the same stitch is joining. Now as we're getting a little bit further away, you're probably going to have to pull these stitches a little bit tighter. You don't want to leave too many gaps, so just pull it a little bit tighter. Then slip stitch into the next stitch, turn your work, leaving the remaining stitches unworked. You should see some nice heel shaping uh, happening now. For row six, skip the first slip stitch, slip stitch into the next single crochet stitch, and then single crochet into each of the next five stitches. Single crochet into the next stitch, which is your same, same stitch as joining, down on your foot, pull it a little bit tighter, and slip stitch into the next stitch. That brings you to the end of row six. For row seven, turn your work. Skip that first slip stitch, slip stitch into your next stitch, and single crochet into each of the next six stitches. Single crochet into the next stitch, which is your stitch down here on your foot, and then slip stitch into your final stitch. Turn your work, leaving the remaining stitches unworked. For row eight, skip that first slip stitch, slip stitch into your next stitch, and single crochet into each of the next seven stitches. Single crochet into the next stitch, which is the same stitch as joining, down on your foot, and slip stitch into your next stitch. We have one more row to work for the heel of our sock, so turn your work, skip that first slip stitch, slip stitch into the next stitch, single crochet into each of the next eight stitches, Single crochet into the next stitch down on your foot and slip stitch into your last stitch, next stitch, turn um, and then leave the remaining stitches unworked. At this time, uh, you can either fasten off, or actually, I'm going to just back up one step. We want to switch back to our color B. So I'm going to pull out that slip stitch and to switch back to my color B. Once I find my ball of yarn here, there it is. 
in this final slip stitch, insert your hook, place your color B on your hook, and pull it through. At this time, you can then chain one and then fasten off that color A. We're going to set it aside for a little bit. And you're all set now to start working on the uh, cuff or the top of your sock. When you come to uh, now working the top of our sock, the stocking body, uh, and you've finished your heel, you should have 30 stitches again uh, in your sock. So you're going to, there's no need to turn your work. We're using your color B, half double crochet into that first stitch. Half double crochet, I'm just working over my tails here so that I don't have to weave them in later. Half double crochet in each stitch around the front of your foot. Just working across the front. All the way around to the other side of your heel. When you come to your heel, jump up just a little bit and half double crochet into that first slip stitch. Now this stitch you're going to want to make sure that you pull extra tight because you really don't want there to be that gap here. So make sure it's nice and tight. Then continue working your half double crochet stitches across your heel. all the way across to your first stitch. Again, you should have 30 stitches all the way around. When you come to your first stitch, join with a slip stitch into that first stitch. Chain one, don't turn your work. We're now going to work 13 more rounds of half double crochet stitches. So half double crochet in that first stitch and then into each stitch all the way around. Join with the slip stitch into your first stitch, chain one and work another round of half double crochet stitches. You would like, uh, you'll need to have 14 rounds in total of half double crochet stitches and this is going to make the body of your stocking. So we're uh, go ahead work those 13 more rounds of half double crochet stitches and then meet me back here and uh, we'll be all set to start the cuff of our Christmas stocking. At the end of round 14 of your stocking body. So I have my heel down here. I've worked 14 rounds of half double crochet stitches. When you come to this final stitch in your round 14, you can join your color A again. So yarn over, insert your hook into that next stitch, yarn over and draw up a loop. Take, drop your color B, pick up your color A, place it on your hook, and then pull through. Join with a slip stitch into that first stitch and then you can fasten off your color B. 
We're now set to work the cuff of this Christmas stocking. And uh, now where the pattern lacks in texture in the body of the sock, when you come to the cuff, I'll just show it to you again, it has lots of it. It is super plush and uh, super fun. So we're going to work this cuff of our sock, uh, working with your color A for round one of the cuff, single crochet into that same stitch as joining, and now into each stitch all the way around. So single crochet in that first stitch, in each stitch, all the way around. When you come back to your first stitch, join with a slip stitch into the top of that first stitch. At the end of round one for your stocking cuff, join with a slip stitch into that first stitch, chain one, and you're now going to turn your work. For round two, working in the back loop only, single crochet in each stitch all the way around. So when you're looking at the tops of your stitch, you have this nice little V up here at the top. Your back loop only is that horizontal bar, is that loop that is furthest away from you. So you're inserting your hook under that stitch only and working your single crochet stitch and you're going to do that all the way around. When you come to your first stitch, you can join in the top working under both loops. So single crochet in the back loop only all the way around and then join with a slip stitch. At the end of round two, join with a slip stitch into that first stitch Actually, you don't need to chain one. Now what we're going to do is we're going to work uh, some of that really uh, fun texture. To work that texture, it's worked by making chain stitches. So what you're going to do is you've joined with a slip stitch into that first stitch. Then you're going to chain seven. Next, working under the front loop only, so that is the loop that's closest to you in the top of your stitch, slip stitch into that next stitch. And then repeat, chain seven. And slip stitch under the front loop only of the next stitch. Repeat that all the way around and then join with a slip stitch into your first stitch. At the end of round three, this is what the top of your sock now looks like all the loops should be on the inside of your stocking. Okay, because when we're done, we're going to actually turn this cuff down and that's what will bring them all out to the front. So at the end of your round three, uh, you're going to join with a slip stitch in the back loop only of that first stitch. Now because we joined under both loops only for the last round, it's a little bit tricky, but just kind of pull that loop apart and join with a slip stitch, or pull the loop forward and join with a slip stitch in the back loop only of that first stitch. You're then set for round four. For round four, you're going to chain three, and this counts as a double crochet stitch. We're now going to continue working in the back loops only of the stitch two rows below, so of those single crochet stitches all the way around. So if you pull your loops, these are my loops here, if you pull them forward, 
your back loops only there are nicely uh, shown and you can double crochet into those back loops only. This is going to push the loop chain loops forward more into your sock and allow you to keep building up. So double crochet working under the back loop only of each stitch all the way around. When you come back to your first stitch, join with the slip stitch into the top of that starting chain three. At the end of round four, you're joining with a slip stitch into the top of that starting chain three. And now for rounds five through to nine, you're going to repeat rounds three and four. So you'll repeat rounds three and four twice more and then round three one more time. So uh, continue working alternating between those chain loop rounds and those double crochet rounds in the back loop only uh, twice more then end off with a chain loop round and uh, join with a slip stitch into that first stitch and then that's going to bring you to the end of your round nine and then we just have one more round to work on our Christmas stocking. So go ahead, repeat rounds three and four twice more, then repeat rounds three once more, and uh, meet me back here. At the end of round nine, this is what your sock will look like the cuff of it. All of your loops are now on the inside, should be quite plush, and uh, you've joined with a slip stitch in the back loop only of that first stitch. For round 10, you're then going to chain one, and then uh, there's no need to turn your work. We're now simply going to continue working in the back loop only, and work one single crochet into each stitch all the way around. So single crochet into that first stitch and then into each stitch all the way around continuing to work in your back loop only. Once you're done this round you can join with the slip stitch into that first stitch. Once you work all the way around, join with that slip stitch in that first stitch. You can then fasten off and now you want to turn your cuff so that it is right side out. So you're going to turn the cuff down just like so. So now all your loops are on the outside of your stocking. You can then go ahead and weave in any ends. So I have my toe down here, my super cozy cuff up here, up at the top. Now to add a hanger, if you would like, you're going to find the back of your stocking. And then I like to add it just down just slightly below um, where I've joined my new color. And you're going to simply take some of your yarn, whatever color you would like, and you're going to want it to be fairly secure. So you may even want to knot it because of the thickness of the cuff, it is fairly heavy. Uh, so you really do want that yarn to be secure. Then for my hanger, I simply chained 20. If 
actually it was just 10 <laughs> and then uh, slip stitch back down into that stitch and then fasten off again if you want to knot it uh, it might be a good idea especially if these stockings are going to be filled uh, come Christmas it just adds a nice hanger to the top of your stocking go back weave in your ends and your simply christmas stocking is complete so thank you so much for joining me on this tutorial on how to make the simply christmas stocking and uh once again i invite you to subscribe take a look around and i look forward to hearing all about your christmas stocking uh, projects until next time happy crocheting bye Thank mm -hmm. you.